Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you again for joining me with another episode of I Care. Wanting you to know again how much God cares for you. You just cannot imagine the length, the depths that he has gone through because he loves us. He loves you as an individual, but he loves us all as a group. Hallelujah to his name. You know, God's love is just is just awesome. It's, it's really no ending to it. Um, you can just you can just know his love, and I tell you, you find the peace, you find comfort, you find joy because you know the love of God, and because God Himself withholds no love from you at all. I want to thank my grandson, uh, Pastor Keeman Dumas, for standing there for me last week. I really do appreciate that. And uh, but uh, he's old news right now, and so we're going to just go ahead and just talk to you about love today. Hallelujah to the Lamb. <laughs> So I want you to, if you if you have your Bible, look with me at 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13. And it says in verse number one, though I speak with the tongues of man, of men and of angels, and have not love, I am become a sounding brass or tender, tinkling cymbal. I am I am one I am wanting to focus a little bit on love again today. I'm going to talk to you about love, a love life, a love walk and the power of being a person that walks in love. You know, uh, we're living in, in times where uh, people are anxious, people are uh, just really living all kinds of ways, and they're treating one another uh, horribly. People are living on edge, their nerves are up, as they say, and uh, people are experiencing anxiety and record levels. And uh, But we have to come to the place where we recognize and know the love of God. The love of God will take you away from all of those things and will cause you to behave in a different way. Because when you truly have love in your heart, it will referee your life. Let me say that again. When you truly have love in your heart, it will become the referee of your life. You will do things based on love. And when there's anything that you are trying to do or want to do that's not in agreement with love, your heart will check you. Your heart will cause you to back up and change what you're doing and go and choose the way of love. Love, hallelujah, is not, let me tell you, love is not just an emotion, but love is commitment too, amen? So we make commitments to people because we love them. We make commitments to people because we want to see the best for them, hallelujah. You know, I, I, I personally cannot imagine why or how people can mistreat one another when the scripture teaches us to love one another. And so it teaches us very clearly that love is the way. And as a matter of fact, the scripture tells us that if we love not God, hello, then we can't even love man. Hallelujah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our love walk right with God. Amen. So as we look to God and we do the things, matter of fact, the word of God declares, Jesus said this, he said, if you love me, hallelujah, he said, you will keep my commandments. You will obey the things I tell you to do. That's the proof of your love towards God. How do you fellowship? How do you walk with the Lord? I care. <laughs>